Hi, my name is Callie Binkowski. I'm the Academic Technology Coordinator at the College of Biological Sciences at the University of Minnesota. Today, I wanted to give you a quick spiel to help you understand how Canvas works. We call it the Canvas bucket idea. It's a key difference between Canvas and Moodle. In Moodle, in order for something to exist, it had to be on that front page of Moodle. In Canvas, that is not how it works. The thing closest to that front page of Moodle is the module section of Canvas, which you see here. You see topics, you see the things listed within the topics. But you need to understand one of the key differences between Moodle and Canvas, the buckets. Canvas doesn't actually store things on the front page. In Moodle, it was on the front page. If you deleted it there, it was gone. That is not how modules work. Canvas has buckets for storing the different things. And the buckets are actually hiding over here in your menu. Assignments and discussions are two buckets for activities where students do things, assignments, discussions. Then we have quizzes, another bucket where we create things for students to do. There are two kinds of buckets for saving content, pages and files. So pages you can create text and images and videos and stuff and put them on pages for students to look at and then files of course that you want to share with students. So these are the Canvas buckets and what's different with Canvas is that when you're ready to put these things that are in your buckets into a sequence for students to work through you do that on modules. It's a lot of functionality to modules but you have to embrace how this works. Think of modules as a window above the buckets. And it's a place for you to put things in sequence and give students a view to the things in the buckets. Now, you'll notice that like I have pages here and it's not written in dark text. I have hidden pages from students. Students can't go right to the bucket. And I don't want them to do that because the pages are listed alphabetically and I want them to get it in a different sequence. That's why we use modules. So if I want a page to be the first thing that they read, I go to modules and I add that page. I'm not actually moving the page here, I'm just creating a link to it. So it's a window from this modules down into the pages bucket into that specific page. And then if I want them to take a quiz, I create the link to the quiz. And then I want a file, I create the link to the file. And then maybe a discussion that they have to do. And then an assignment. So now I have put things in a sequence on the modules page like this. A file. This is an external URL. I can do that. Notice there were no buckets for that. If I delete that one, it's actually gone. Um, there's an article, a file, another file. This is a page. This is an assignment. So I create those things, and but these are not actually where the stuff exists. So just to show you what I mean, just for fun, I'm going to go create this thing that says new assignment for. I don't mean create. I'm going to remove it. Uh, so I've clicked on the gear, and I'm now clicking remove, and then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. In Moodle, that would have deleted the assignment. But in Canvas, it has it. It has, however, removed student access from it because they don't have any way to get to it. Well, actually, they do. Because right here in Menus, notice how this is in dark text? Students can get to this. So they can get here and see all of the assignments. Typically, I have this hidden for most classes because, again, this isn't necessarily the order or all the information students need in order to do the assignments. It's just the assignments. So right down here somewhere, I bet, is new assignment four. See, it's not gone. Deleting stuff to modules does not mean that you actually deleted it. If I really want to delete it, I have to go in here. I have to click the gear. I have to choose delete. And you'll notice, there it is, when I click delete or click OK, now it's really gone. It doesn't exist anywhere. If I deleted something from here that was on a module, when I delete it inside its bucket, it will remove itself from the module as well because it doesn't exist anymore. So I wanted to make sure you understood that key difference between Canvas and Moodle. Good luck getting your course up and running for the semester.